Hello everybody, welcome back to Padshaw Junction, um, anybody who's watching. Um, it's funny, you know, uh, I was talking to my wife about the uh, idea of getting this model railway going, and uh, she said to me, the ideal thing to do would be to go up in the attic, tidy out all them years and years and years of rubbish we've got, make some space and set it up up there. And I thought, yeah, do you know what, she's right, maybe I should. So I went up in the attic, and uh, bearing in mind we've probably been living in this place for 30 years, um, during which time everything's got thrown up here. And I came across this suitcase, which, uh, as soon as I saw it, I thought, hang on a minute, this looks vaguely familiar. And uh, this came from my um, mum and dad's old place. Um, it was in their attic, and uh, I brought it home with me, and of course I'd completely forgotten what was inside it. So I thought you might want to have a look and see what's inside. Check this out. It's only uh, some of the railway stuff from when I was a child. And it's been sitting up here all this time um, without me giving it any thought. Completely forgot all about it. And uh, just come across it today. So I thought it might be good fun to go through the case, have a look at it, see what's in there. And uh, maybe in future videos, try some of the stuff and see if it runs. Okay, here we go. The first thing I saw on opening it was this. Hymek. And uh, this brought back a lot of memories. Obviously I've had this since I was a boy, um, and my dad bought me this completely out of the blue one one time. I think they'd been away for the weekend up to Suffolk to see um, my mum's parents, or well, my grandparents, and uh, he'd gone to a local model shop and he bought me this, um, which was completely out of the blue. Great, and I'm so glad it's still here, um, and it'd be great fun to see if this runs, wouldn't it? So that's, you know, for me that's kind of star find of the day almost. Uh, what else is lurking in the box? Let's have a look. Coaches. Look at them. Great. Two of those, by the look of it. Don't look in bad condition, do they? Uh, I'm not sure what else is in this box. Here's one. Mainline Railways. And that is a... Does it say on there? A J72 tank locomotive, BR livery. That looks in pretty good condition and, and uh, a nicely detailed model. So I look forward to trying that out and see if it works at some point. Uh, what we got next? Diesel shunter. Look at that. Uh, what does it say on there? X, X GFR diesel locomotive in a old trying Hornby box again that'd be great if it ran wouldn't it brilliant okay let's delve further into the box of delights uh, what we got here look at that another big diesel which I think it says on here is a AIA diesel electric locomotive. That's a great looking bit of kit, isn't it? Fantastic if that works. Let's pop that to one side. Oh, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe I've, all this stuff is, I was up in my attic and I've forgotten all about it. It's just like, it goes to show, doesn't it? You know, life, your life, all these things that happen in your life, you throw stuff up in the attic and uh, other than going up there at Christmas time to get the decorations down, you just, or get your suitcases down for your holiday, the rest of the time you're just piling stuff on top of stuff but there you go just goes to show what you can come across and this one is a like a diesel rail car again that's pretty good built in britain it says on the bottom look built in britain fantastic and here is this the other part? There you go, that's the dummy car, isn't it, that goes on the back. So that'd be a great little one to get running as well. That'd be great, shuttling that backwards and forwards on the layout. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, right, let's move that out of the way. Okay, the rest of these are packed up in some paper. Um, what I might do is just go and un unpack a few, um, and then I'll come back and show you what i found, otherwise this is going to go on for quite a long time by the look of it. <laughs> I'll catch you in a minute. Carry on pulling these out of the box. I think it's actually be more fun to see as they come out of the paper rather than wrapping them all off camera. So we'll whiz through these and see what we've got. 
Oh, nice coach. Look at that, Intercity. Brilliant, that looked good with the, uh, the high mech, wouldn't it? That was probably, that probably went with that, I expect. Uh, another. Wagon, Pale Thorpe's pork sausages. Again, looks in pretty good, Nick. Um, I'm guessing that when I um, kind of, you know, finished with model railways, I must have boxed all these up, put them in this old suitcase. Um, which was labelled on there. Look, I think this was my mum's old suitcase <laughs> from uh, when she used to travel battles and fours between Suffolk and down here uh, in the war. Oh, look at that one. I haven't seen that. Well, I don't really remember these all at all, to be honest. Murgatroyds. Liquid chlorine. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? By the looks of it, I I must have done some kind of. I obviously had to go doing some sort of weathering on that. Look, when I was a lad, trying to make it look like it had uh, seen action. Uh, sorry about all this flipping backwards and forwards with the camera. There might be other. Ah, right. There's other stuff in here as well. Diecast models. Look. Little armoured car. I'll put those over to one side over separately. Just try and stick to the railway stuff for now. And over here. GWR Loco pannier tank. That's quite a nice one. I've obviously. Uh, I obviously decided to repaint that in British Railways colours. I've done it black and got a BR emblem on that. But um, amazingly, I kept the box. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, what have we got here? Another little loco. Look at that one. Also looks like I've... I wonder if that's another one I've repainted. Looks like it, doesn't it? What does that say? J83 LNER 060. Again, that's another little cool loco. Little loco. Looks like I've, I've added a... You know, a stoker on that one, or a crew member, or fireman. <laughs> no, I've, looks like I've tried having some weathering. But again, we'll, we'll get some of these out of the box in another video, maybe, and see if they run. You know, this is... Um, I'm quite excited by all this. Hilariously. Uh, oh, yep. The other uh, intercity coach to go with that one over there. Brilliant. Obviously, I thought I'd wrap these in. Looks like old uh, valve gear, how it works. Must have been an old car magazine or something. <laughs> Be quite interesting in its own right. Advert there for ice upon car fill, isn't it? Um, right, what else have we got? Ah! A shell wagon. Again, looks like I've had a go at weathering it as a boy, you know. Tried to dirty it up and looks like I've stuck some extra numbers on it or something. It's uh, That's really heavy, that compared to some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's quite good. That'll look good on a little freight train. And, yes, I do remember this. I think this is one of the first ones I ever had. Uh, it's Lima. And it was a, like a little diesel shunter set. One of the first things I ever got. Uh, does that say Lima Italy on the bottom? Yeah, it does. Lima Italy. I do remember that. I don't know what colour it was when it was um, when I first had it, but obviously later on, I suppose when I was you know into model making and uh, I've obviously painted this black again and like tried to do all this weathering and rust effect on it. <laughs> I suppose not too bad for a lad having a go, you know. <laughs> and it's been set up here all these years after it was in my parents' attic for all those years. So that's that'd be good if I could get that going. I think yeah, that'd be good. A uh, little coal wagon. I've had a go at putting a load in, look. Again, looks like I've had a go at paint weathering it, or... Yeah, that's okay. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, another little wagon. I'm trying to see what that says on it. Westland something, rather. Westland Scout. Oh, I think that must have been a transfer out of a kit for a helicopter I would think Westland Scout, that sounds like a helicopter doesn't it? By the looks of it, it does that look like the remains of a Kellogg symbol under that paint? Yeah, I obviously had a go at uh, painting that and 
weathering it. Having a go being the operative word, I think. And, oh, look, another loco. Um, class 37, is that? It's a class 37. Nice. Don't, um, don't really remember that one very well, actually, but there you go. That'd be a great one to have a, another, have a go at, wouldn't it? See if that runs. Brilliant. Get some of this paper out of the way. Uh, oh, look, a fine fish, and I bought a fine fish off eBay a few weeks ago. And again, it looks like I've had a go at trying to weather this when I was a lad. And I've actually... What did I do? It's, like I've me it's almost melton, molten, doesn't it? But never mind, you do these things when you're a kid, don't you? So That's a nice little, nice little wagon with sliding doors. That's okay, ventilated van. Yeah. Great. Brilliant stuff. And now we might be getting into some of the uh, die car stuff. Now look, oh... Pew and Company Coal Wagon, special edition. Let's see if I can open the box on this. I don't remember this at all. Oh, excuse me, trying to do it one handed. I didn't bring a tripod up into the loft. I just started filming when I found this lot. I haven't done much clearing up as a result. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I'll put that over there. I'll keep the box. I think there's another one there, look. There's another one. Definitely, there's one in there. I won't get it out now, because this is all taking time, but... And another one. So, I have, somehow, I had three of those. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Ah. Another wagon, that's a nice wagon. Looks like a looks like I started putting a load into it and Corey would that have said maybe? Like a load of coal or something and I never got round to finishing it, so it looks like I was trying to stick it with polyfiller or something, doesn't it? Yeah well <clears throat> I can't tell you what happened or why it happened because I don't remember. Oh look. Breakdown crane, but at least that bit of the jib is still there. So, well, I'm sure I could fix that up. You know, I'm sure I can glue that and repair it. Must be able to. Uh, we're getting towards the bottom now. There might be other kinds of toys in here. Left over from childhood. Another little uh, coal wagon with a load of coal in it. I match that one down there. Look. That's okay. Well, we're getting into the nitty gritty now. Ocean. Again, tried putting a load of coal in it. Any more? Any more railway stuff in here? I won't go through all the die cast stuff uh, unless uh, anybody's interested and wants to see a separate video on <laughs> all the die cast models that are in there. Uh, that's a nice little. That's a cattle wagon, isn't it? With the the. Uh, Grills like that, that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, that's paper, that's paper. Getting the, there's a lot of old bits of paper in here. We might be getting towards the bottom now. Oh, hang on, there's something else. Ocean. That's a coal wagon, that's okay, isn't it? Again, it looks like I've had a go at weathering it, or, you know. Yeah, brilliant. More paper. <laughs> Another Pew and Co. 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 Wagon. How did I end up with four of them? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I mean, some of this stuff could be, I don't know, inherited maybe from somebody else. Can't remember now. Nice little plain white wagon, that one. Uh, RCJ. I oh, don't know what that is, but again, nice little wagon. So that's really. Um, Gives the old, uh, oh, Bestwood. Again, I've weathered it up <laughs> when I was a boy. Bestwood, yep. Uh, anything else railway in here? Uh, no. Uh, what else we got? Oh, an old scale electric mini. No, oh well. And, uh, oh, there's one. Warrener, Lincoln. 
Oh, that's Mainline. Oh, that's Mainline, the same brand as the uh, the Loco I pulled out earlier. That's a nice little wagon. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Very good. Right, okay. Uh, that's die cost. Captain Scarlet, who remembers him, eh? Um, yeah, model cars. Sorry about diving around with the phone because I'm just holding it in my hand. Um, I'll have to repack all this. Oh, no, hang on. Another Bestwood. Brilliant. I'm certainly alright for wagons. Good grief. I can't believe I found all this stuff. This is just... Honestly, folks, this is just... I can't believe it. Look at all those. I must have... They're all corgi tyres. Spare tyres for, for model cars. Uh... Oh, that's an interesting one. Look at that. Armstrong, creators of the indoor world, floor, ceilings, carpet and furniture. That's a what tiny little wheels it's got on it. Ah, oh, a couple missing there. That's a shame. Uh, they're not in that paper, are they? Yes, they are. They're inside that bit of paper. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i put that to one side and um, put them back in it. Brilliant. Trying Railways. I don't know what that is. Smoke unit. A smoke unit. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Maybe that can be fitted to a loco. Don't know. Uh, any more railway in here? Yep. What's this one? Oh, look at that. A little flat wagon that I've... Um, I made a load for. Brilliant. <laughs> That's good. Oh well, this stuff is, uh, and uh, there's a lot of die cast in here. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, we've got it there. That's... So sorry about flying around with the. Uh... Uh, no. Oh. The car. There's another. There's another railway one. There we go. Prime pork. To go with fine fish. That's in quite good condition as well. That's nice. Brilliant. Won't be short of a goods train. And... Ah! A little brake fan. And this one's got... It's got quite nice details. I know with the handrails. Look at that. Uh, Triang. Made in England. It's got like individual handrails on it. Hmm. That's a nice brake fan. Cracking stuff. Put that down. Right, I think I'm getting towards the end now. Oh, hang on, another brake fan. Wow. Oh. Again, look, I've had a go at weathering it, and I've, st I've stood a chap in the end there. <laughs> Brilliant. And this one doesn't have the separate handrails on it, which is quite interesting. Uh some more oh station accessories dogs eight pieces no there's dogs and sheep and a person in there so they're wow brilliant oh they'll come in handy the painting obviously lovely old box look at that look at the artwork on there that's great isn't it merit Double O gauge and HO gauge station accessories, like a little matchbox almost. Made in England. Fantastic. Uh, around now we're looking at mainly die cast, I think. Oh, oh hang on. Ah. Oh. oh dear. This is oh dear, this is looking sad. Look. What happened to this, I wonder? Well, it's missing its uh missing its wheels there at the front, isn't it? And the Boiler's all loose and there's no tender. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder what that was. Nice little model. Bit of detail in the cab, look. That's okay. Oh, I wonder if the rest of it's still there. Uh, let's see. I'm just ferreting through this as quickly as possible. I'm aware of, um, you know. Oh, hello. There we go, there's the tender. 
Oh, I'm have to try and find out what this is. I've got the tender. I've got the tent. Oh, that's the. <laughs> that just came off in my hand. Well, that's okay. That'd be a good little project, little fixer-upper project, wouldn't it? Uh, and the rest of these, I think, are all die-casts. Yeah, the rest of it's all die-cast stuff. So, I think I'm just going to um, pull this to one side, and I'll line up all the railway stuff and just do a, maybe a shot of it all at the end, so I can have a look at everything I've got. All right, see you in a minute. There's everything laid out, just for a quick scan around and have a look. There's the uh, the diesel rail car set. And then over there we've got uh, four coaches, two different liveries. The Hymec, which brings back really fond memories, because I say that's the one that uh, my dad got me. I remember him remember buying that, that's great. Diesel shunter. Coming down, we've got the wagons. There's the shell tanker, Murgatroyds. Various other wagons here. Uh, there's that one, that I've popped the wheels back in it. So that seems to be okay. And we've got the mainline locomotive, which is a nice detailed little loco, that. And then another little loco there. Um, across to this impressive looking diesel. AIA, AIA, I think it says on the box. Correct me if I'm wrong. The pannier tank that I obviously decided uh, to repaint in British rail colours. Uh, my little Lima, oh, sorry about the fingers, my little Lima shunter. Be interesting if that works. The Class 37 coming down. Other assorted wagons. Uh, this poor loco, which seems to be, I don't know, I don't even know if it's all there to be honest. It doesn't look like it to me. It looks like there might be, there's, look, there's some wheels missing and definitely a lot missing off that. So it might render spare parts as it's got, it's got a motor in it still, so it could have a, could be useful for spare parts, couldn't it? If anybody knows what that is, maybe they can let me know. The Class 37, nice looking loco. And uh, <laughs> that strange smoke unit, which I haven't opened and had a look at. And this set of Pew & Co wagons, which again, that's a nice surprise. Don't remember them, they look good as a rake. So uh, anyway, I hope this video hasn't been too long for everybody. Um, just thought, because it was all a discovery in one day, I just thought I'd do one video. But um, when I get some of these uh, out and try them on the tracks, to see if they work then if they don't that'd be quite interesting to strip them down and see if uh, i can get them working again so all right okay everybody well thanks for watching if you watched all the way through and i uh, hope to catch you soon for more adventures on uh Padshaw junction and actually this opens up a, an excellent uh possibility now in the, so far as all i need to concentrate now on is uh hopefully getting some track um and uh clearing out the rest of the loft and making space and uh getting a layout going because this will get me started. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.